Hello and uh, welcome to Captain Hype TV once again in this beautiful setting at the Elbe River. Today the second episode on our electrical golf. I just passed today the 6000 kilometer mark and uh, let's look at the car again and the latest news. Stay tuned. Yes, it has been six weeks now till we got the car uh, directly from VW in Wolfsburg. There was no special occasions, there was no special occurrences. Everything was, was great. We had a good time with the car. Today I just passed the 6000 kilometers, as I already said in the intro. So as my wife is doing really 160 kilometers as a daily driver, it will be quite interesting how the car develops in the next months and years with this uh, big load on kilometers. Yeah, there were several comments and reactions to the last video and I want to take these comments and today talk more about the driving of the Golf and uh, the driving experience. So also we will be going on the Autobahn, on the German Autobahn. Greetings go out to Alex and Paul. Let's go and take a closer look. The car is 4 meter 27 centimeters long and it's 2 meter and 27 millimeters, so roughly 2 meters and 3 centimeters wide, including the mirrors. It's got a weight of around about 1.6 tons and it's got a synchronous permanent magnet engine with 136 horsepower, which is 100 kilowatt. The torque of that engine is 290 newton meter. The battery capacity is 35.8 kilowatt hours, and VW says you can use 32 kilowatt hours of that capacity. For those of you who want to go shopping or on a trip, you can put up to 341 liters of luggage in the boot and uh, that will be invisible. So you can still close it and everything is fine. If you load it just underneath the roof, and lay down the rear seat then you can put up to 1231 liters into the trunk. The car offers type 2 alternating currency charging with 7.2 kilowatt. This will fill up the car in round about 5 hours for me that's not really interesting and for us because we charge overnight. But the quick charging with CCS standard goes up to 40 kilowatt and that will give you a sensible recharge in round about one hour. VW says 80% of charging in 45 minutes. I have not checked exactly this charging but the number is sensible because I often already did a quick charging and there you go around about 40-45 minutes to replenish the car when it's around about at 20 or 30 percentage state of charge. Okay, let's get the car started. So power on. Now that was the last step, so to say the ignition, when you hear the gong, the car is ready to go. I explained in the last video the cockpit arrangement, so I will not repeat that today. And then you select your drive from the parking position to the driving position. If you pull one back, that's maximum recuperation. Okay. And off we go. Thank 
quite silent and nice. Typical BEV. So let's go for some countryside riding. We've got to pass the dike here, coming from the Elbe. I changed the cockpit view to efficiency and since I started the ride today I'm at around about 14 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers which is good it's okay and it fits quite well with the let's say 230 to 240 kilometers of range that the car indicates when it is fully charged also the daily driving experience shows that the range indication is quite accurate now we are passing this bridge and afterwards we will go for the highway for the autobahn on the autobahn we are allowed to go as fast as we can as fast as we want to unless there is a speed limit indicating differently the electrical golf cannot go faster than 150 kilometers per hour so electronically accelerations will stop accelerating will stop at 150 kilometers per hour so now we've got 80 kilometers per hour that's the sound level corresponding that's the sound level corresponding to 80 kilometers per hour per hour wind noise and tire noise will increase now for sure 120 kilometers per hour so you can very easily listen to the radio at that sound level so it's not really annoying you hear that we are driving a little bit faster but you could still hear the radio without turning it on extremely with normal hearing okay now I go to 130 kilometers per hour that's 130 kilometers per hour next stop 140 Now I floor it to see how far it will go. We passed 150 indicated and now at 157 according to the speed indicator there is no more acceleration. So normally the speed indicators indicate higher speed than the actual speed. So I guess that's now the 150 maybe 153 so you see it's a reasonable speed and it's not too loud but if you want to go quicker it's good for the long distance it will take too much electricity the range is already dropping from 114 to 200 kilometers getting energy back and now off the highway okay now we go a little bit cross country here So that's the sound level now at 65 kilometers per hour. Now I'm at 80 kilometers.
km per hour and I will put the speed limit speed limit adjust to 100 km per hour so now we are going at 100 km per hour across country the noise level is okay some first wind noises you can hear the rolling of the tires and that's it you can easily listen to the radio at normal volumes now it's really comfortable it's as i said like driving a golf and vw really is good at damping noises and damping vibrations the thing that is vibrating most is the camera holder i attached to the window besides me i hope it doesn't spoil the sound now we are approaching a town or small village i have to reduce the speed to 50 kilometers per hour the daily ride is really very good for my wife the 160 kilometers is no problem at all indicated a range of 240 in the morning coming back with 30 to 50 kilometers in the evening she likes to go a little bit faster from time to time but normally she tries not to go quicker than 120 kilometers per hour on the highway so that's a good range we will see how winter turns out and how much degradation we will see on this battery The e-golf has got a boost function and you can see in the camera now the power part of the display. So here we've got the battery and in this area it would indicate if we are going for recuperation. So means if you take the foot off the accelerator the energy of the car will be used to charge the battery. On this side we've got the power indicator from 0 to 100 percent and here down there you see E max that's the boosting area and um, if I now go for B maximum recuperation if I go for driving first level of recuperation second level of recuperation third level of recuperation and the strongest one is the B. Okay, let's make a sound check with this boost. I'll turn off the air condition. So, that's it. That was a quick boost for sure. I'm not going too fast here as we are inside the village so I had to stay and had to boost just until 50 kilometers per hour. So that's the boost. Okay home sweet home I'm back here and uh, I just connected the e-golf to our Tesla wall box very simple take the cable plug it in it's already starting so very comfortable no time at the fueling station at the filling station just get home plug in charge especially overnight very comfortable car is always full with maximum range in the morning and if you want to you can also turn on the air condition for the morning so that when you get in it's already cooled or already warm that's it for today I hope you liked it if so give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. If you've got any additional question on this electrical golf or on electrical mobility, just put them in the comments below and I will answer them or take them up into the next video. More videos will follow on our experience with this car and also other electromobility videos. Check out my channel from time to time. And until then, see you later. Bye.